Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy T Dell. What's blazing in sports? We are here live. Terrence Crawford versus John Molina. I picked the wrong fight. I should have stayed on Showtime. I wanted to pick one, just the fact because Terrence Crawford may fight Manny Pacquiao or they may do something crazy and make him face Lomachenko. I said, you know what? Let me just dedicate to one fight and watch the other one later. And instead of flipping back and forth, I picked the wrong one. Um, this is the worst I ever seen John Molina ever look in a fight. Now, let me give you guys round by round minute breakdown. Psych, I'm not doing none of that. This guy was sloppy from second one. I mean, Dennis Crawford was good. Very good. But I think John Molina, the way he came out fighting and, and overselling his punches, he made Terrence Crawford look even better. Like, let's say, if he's standing here, and let's say he throws a right hand, and Terrence Crawford will move out, you know, to his right, serve it out. Uh, John Molina will not only throw it, he overcommitted. He was even step with it. You know, and all kind of crazy stuff to make the, the misses that much more. And I'm not sure I can believe in copy box anymore. I don't know. I think they may have had Terrence Crawford around landing 50% or some of his punches. I don't know. Um, I saw it more like 98, maybe 99.3% punches landed flush and clear. Um, John Molina was like a rock and sock and robot. He had no defense. He came in. Got his hands like this. He's getting hit with everything. Very clean. Uh, he was throwing one jab. He won't listen to his corner. He should have been doubling that jab up. He was not doubling that jab. He should have had a tighter defense. You know, if you get hit like that, you got to switch it. Um, and that was a perfect example of not smart aggressiveness. He was going forward. Oh, man, I don't think he tried even once to cut the ring off. Not even once. He could have been in school and he could have been cutting shape off. He couldn't cut it. Uh, every time Terrence Crawford would make a straight, a curvy path for him, John would go right behind it. He didn't even try to cut the ring off. And a lot of adjustments he could have made was, hey, try to put your foot on the outside. You see he's keep rolling out one way. Why not try to set it up, you know, like, me, I'm not saying it always works, but heck, I would have tried it at least, you know, when he keep rolling out this way, now, if you throw a lead hook, he'll see it coming because he's not fast, and he'll make you miss, but if you kind of set it up, maybe feign a right hand, then come for a hook or something, or, you know, work off the jab and throw a hook, you know, you got to mix it in there, you know, and force him to go back a way that he doesn't want to go, this guy's spinning out one way, the whole fight, almost the whole fight, you got to set something up, you know, maybe even step that way and throw that hook and anticipating him coming back, and then shoot your right hand to catch him, um, every now and then, he was able to catch Terrence Crawford with a shot. That's really far in between. You know, almost like when you find a needle in the hand, say, oh, I found a punch. Oh, and it did have some effect on him. It had some effect. So I would like to see Terrence Crawford in there with big punches. Now, uh, newsflash, guys, if you haven't figured out now, Terrence Crawford stopped this guy, I believe, in the eighth round. Now, uh, Max Kellerman asked him about Earl Spence Jr. I'm telling you, man, Earl Spence must be the boogeyman of the welterweight division because no one really calls this guy out. No one really just says, I want this guy. Uh, to be honest, I think Terrence Crawford will have some success against Spence, to be honest. But I think Spence' power will be more than an equalizer against Terrence Crawford. Right now, he may be too big. I think Terrence Crawford will win on the boxing part of it. But when that power kicks in, that power can shut a lot of that boxing down. It can tire you out or you can just get knocked clean out. Alright, so back to the Terrence Crawford versus John Molina. Um, I heard he did not make weight talking about Molina. He looked it kind of sloppy in there. I don't know. It didn't look like he trained. It just looked like he just came in sloppy. Like maybe he was just in the gym, not really focusing on anything. And someone said, hey, we got to fight against you for Crawford tomorrow. And he went in with that type of game plan, which was no really game plan. Just to take whatever you know and fight. But I don't know, guys. I, I just never seen John Molina look this bad. 
Um, I actually like watching him fight. You know, even if even when he took losses against Adrian Broner and he fought Batista and other different people, um, I just like the way that this guy would kind of bring it. I just don't think he brought it at all. He did all the mistakes that he shouldn't make against a boxer, and he didn't do any of things to try to equalize Terrence Crawford. Maybe start going to the body more. You know, more rough tactics. You know, to try to get under his skin. But guys, you know, uh, that, that's all I'm going to speak on this one. You know, this is your boy t Dub was blazing. If you felt it was a good fight, let me know. Um, I will say this. This is the one fight, probably around four or five, that I really want to just turn it off. I'm not going to lie. It just looked so bad. And I don't blame Terrence. I really do blame John Molina. It wasn't just that it was a clear skill difference. Even though it was, I just think John Molina just... I don't know what he was doing. You know, I really don't know what he was doing. Like I said, it's like he came in with no game plan at all, guys. But you know what? Um, this has pretty much been a straight rant video. I um, actually cut off some things that I did not want to uh, post out there. But either way, this is your boy T Dub. Uh, if you know what's next for John Molina, let me know. Let me know what you want next for Terrence Crawford. Big win for the guy still. Uh, a more competitive fight probably would have done more for a resume. Um, a clear landslide is a rock'em sock'em type robot fighter. It just won't do a whole lot. But again, this your boy, and I'm out.